What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to go over Baby Doge today. We're going to talk about some technicals, why Baby Doge is pulling back, and where we could possibly end up in the near future. So definitely hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. Also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. And if you want 10% off of your trading fees for crypto, definitely check out the MexC Global link in the description. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Let's get straight to Baby Doge though. So the first thing that we want to talk about here with Baby Doge is how we pretty much got rejected all the way up here at 3.6. We knew this was going to happen. We've been talking about this on this channel for a very long time, how we have this rejection that was going to happen after we had this pump. We knew a pump was going to happen, and we also knew the rejection was going to happen. So look, now that we got rejected, this is a good opportunity for us to build up more momentum. Now, we are probably going to break this support line. A lot of people do not want to see Baby Doge go to below 3.260, but... We're literally inching near it like closer and closer so we're probably going to end up breaking that support but we're going to talk about where we could possibly end up after breaking the support because look when we break this support right here of 3260 we're probably going to end up going all the way down here to about 3150 which is really not that far below so it'll probably end up going in here and then trying to break out again and if we actually could break out again then you're probably going to more than likely see baby doge pump back up here to 3.7 and eventually just pumping and breaking out of 3.7 and then hitting that 3.8 area. What I mean by 3.8 all the way up here at this Fibonacci retracement is typically it's really around like 3.850 but somewhere around 3.850 is where we're probably going to end up stopping next after our next pump if we can you know continue to rise from here. So remember when Baby Doge pulls back this green area pretty much shows we have more demand there so there is some support. So we'll probably end up stopping here but if the support's not strong enough, then you have to expect 3-0 to come next after that, if that support isn't strong enough. But we do got to look at what the bears are doing right now. The bears and Baby Doge are in control of the 24-hour market control by 60%. So it's pretty much showing that Baby Doge is 60% bearish. Now, mind you, this is looking at the 15M chart, the 15-minute chart. So whenever we look at the one-minute chart, which is pretty much the very, very, very short-term chart, It'll show you something a little bit different. You can see all this buying volume here on the oscillator. But let's let these indicators show up. So this whole red area is pretty much less demand. So it's going to be harder for Baby Doge to break out of here. But for the one-minute chart, you're seeing Baby Doge is only in the 24-hour market control by the bears by 60% when you look at the one-minute chart. So one minute is very, very short term. So we don't even really want to look at that. But what it's pretty much showing us here is we're going to have a very hard time getting past 3.5 all the way down to about 3.3. Three. There's it's going to be a very hard time for Baby Doge to even get past these areas. But it's possible, like, we had a lot of buying volume. All this buying volume couldn't even get us past that area. Because, look, we started the buy and buy, buy. We were pumping here. And then we got stopped right here and rejected. And then we started to go down. All this buying volume was a result of that. And we still couldn't break out with all that buying volume. So what does Baby Doge have to do next? We have to pull back to the next support area. So as we pull back to this next support area, this is pretty much all the way from 3150 all the way up here to about 33, um, 32, somewhere around there, 3233. We do have some more demand up here around the um, 3250 support like I was talking about. But that's the one minute chart. Now, when you look at the four minute chart or the four hour chart, which is pretty much the long term chart, which is really what you want to be looking at, you really don't want to do your technicals based off of a short term chart like the 1M chart. So let's go ahead and look at the four hour chart so we could see the long term for Baby Doge because that's what most people are here for. Most people are here for the long term with Baby Doge. Now, when you look at the long term chart, it still shows that the bears are in control of the 24 hour market control by 60%. We do have some buying volume coming in for Baby Doge, but still, it's still showing that we're still bearish by 60%. So it's something you got to be aware of because look right here. It's now forming a red area, red shaded area, showing that we have less demand and showing that there is going to be a pullback that's coming. And we're actually losing this green area here from about 3120 all the way up here to about 34. So it's showing that there's less demand around that area now. But as we pull back, like I said, we could be pulling back here long term. So remember, when we looked at the short term pullback, 
short-term pullback could bring us down to about 3-0. So now that you're seeing the long-term pullback, the long-term pullback could bring us to about 2-9-5-0 all the way down here to about 2-7-7-0. So that would be the long-term pullback. So what you probably see is more demand being met for Baby Doge around this 2-7 area. And then we may have some potential to pump after that. And that's not the only one down there because if we actually broke that area right there of support, then the next area of support, we always talk about this, the 2-5 would be the next area of support. So that's pretty much what we have going on here for the technicals with the Baby Doge. But moving on from there a little bit, let's go ahead and look at what we got here for the holders. We're actually almost at 1.5 million holders. We're at 1,484,459 holders. So that's actually pretty good, pretty big. And over here, you can see there is a good amount of volume coming in, 16.2 million volume. That's pretty nice. And then over here, we got 11.73 trillion coins burned today, 1.87K new holders today. Now, there is a lot of volume exchange going on inside Baby Doge. Like, there is a lot. So this top one right here, which is the largest Baby Doge wallet, which is pretty much the OKX exchange. And uh, over here, we got this whale came in, 544 trillion baby doge that they just purchased they got 12 million dollars total inside this wallet they just now purchased 5.44 trillion baby doge and then over here you got a huge sale 30.54 trillion baby doge so 34.50 uh 34 or 30.54 trillion baby doge over here is that's a, actually a pretty big amount of baby doge and this one that's pretty much all they're holding inside that wallet and that is a big sale and they got seven trillion Baby Doge purchased inside of this wallet as well. And then next, we also got this $3 trillion buy, $23.86 trillion Baby Doge buy. So yeah, there, there's a lot of money flowing through Baby Doge right now. But the volume is still more so on the buying. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing there's more buying than selling. There is selling going on, but we're still seeing a lot of buying happening in Baby Doge. So I wouldn't be you know too bearish with it yet because... This is the billionaire wallet we've been talking about. And every single day, they've been buying more and more Baby Doge. 15.7 trillion Baby Doge just now purchased from that billion-dollar wallet. Then you got some sales there. But most of this is all buys. We do have some sales here and there. But I'm seeing mainly buys here inside Baby Doge. But anyways, moving on from this, we got some other stuff we got to talk about. Look at this. We are trending on Binance right now. So literally number nine trending on Binance. This could be a sign that Binance may want to list us soon because just think about it. Ethereum is on Binance. Cardano is on Binance. PancakeSwap is on Binance. Bitcoin, Shiba Inu. I think I believe ApeCoin is also on Binance as well. But Baby Doge is not on Binance. Now, there is a option to buy any Binance token on Binance right now. But I think that that's through their DeFi wallet. But if you want to get it on the centralized exchange, you can't get Baby Doge on Binance's centralized exchange. This could be a signal that we may be put on to their centralized exchange soon. So hopefully we could do that. And hopefully it's on Binance US too. And this is the proof right here. This is the actual Binance website, Binance.com, trending right here, Baby Doge, number nine. Notice how you cannot click on Baby Doge, but all these other coins, you can click on, click on them. Libero, Finance, you cannot click on it. Metapets, you can't. Cat Girl, you can't. But all these other ones, you can but also, I'm, I'm going to do a video on Libero, too, for one of the subscribers. So, big shout-out to the subscribers out there. And this is actually for a member. I have everything written on pretty much um, sticky notes, whatever I'm going to be going over next. But anyways, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Just kind of wanted to go over this and let you all know exactly what's coming up next for Baby Doge. And tomorrow, I will be going over that Libero Finance video. And I have a lot of different people that... Are inside of the members so this will be for kenneth gray for libero finance but yeah definitely hit the like button subscribe it really helps the youtube channel out immensely for the youtube algorithm leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next and if you want these automated trading indicators definitely check out the vital algo link in the description and use the discount code marcellus for 25 percent off remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this financial advice as always i'll be back with another video peace